with Beauty and the Stamper and I have a new little haul. I've already broken into it. I couldn't wait, but I wanted to make sure I showed you. And this one is super cute. It's a photopolymer stamp set. It's called Humble Home. And I just fell in love with it after seeing a couple of um, cards and gifts with it. So it's the Humble Home Builder Punch. This comes in a bundle, so you get to save 10%. And then it has a little heart and some little windows if you'd like, a little doorknob. And so cute. Look at that. You can make it for Christmas. You can make it for a thank you. Just so many different things. So I did make a card. And as you can see, I got the polka dot ribbon here. And I used that already on my card. So let me show you. This is the card that I made with it. My friend and I did a lovely little um, uh, challenge for each other. And I've got these little uh, dies that I had set up. And so I threw each die and it was, what was it? These were what it ended up being. An event, um, colored would be, colors would be your choice and then you needed to put ribbon or twine. And that's how um, I ended up using this. And the event is getting a new house. So I thought that was cute. There's the ribbon and the twine and just thought it was adorable. So I wanted to show that to you, um, but I did get that ribbon and I got a couple other ribbons. This one is called, let's see, center stripe ribbon and I just think it is so pretty it's like a vanilla ribbon and then it's got I don't know what color that stripe is maybe pecan pie yep it is pecan pie and then this one is a frayed grow grain ribbon and that is in a white so it's got those frays alongside of it I always like to get um, different embellishments. So I checked out the pearls aren't any longer and they've always been a staple. So I'm checking out the iridescent pearls and they're nice. I think they'll work. I like to color them with my blends. Then we've got these. This is the neutrals adhesive backed sequins. I thought they would be perfect going in to fall. And then this is my standby always, the rhinestone basic jewels. And it looks like they've made it even wider. So I don't know if there's more or if it's just wider. It almost looks like there's more. Two, four, six, eight, ten. No, maybe it is the same. All right, so I got this embossing folder. It's called So Swirly. Uh, loved it. And I love embossing folders. And you can see on this card, I used an embossing folder there as well. Which one was that called? Let's see. That's called the Cute Crochet 3D Embossing Folder. Uh, let's see, this paper, this is from the annual catalog. It's the Full of Life 6x6 paper, but I just loved it so much. And of course I had some from my paper share but I wanted another pack, a whole pack, all by myself. So full of life, six by six. We're gonna have some fun with that. And then this one is the Snowy Scenes. This is 12 by 12 designer series paper. And I opened it so it would be easy for me to show you guys. But this, I've seen so many great cards come out of just the, the um, paper. So you can see each of these little pieces, they can make a card. And then the back side, of course, they are double sided. So we've got some green and blue um, snowflakes there. These are a little bit larger here of the snow globes. And then let's see the back side is again, snowflakes. But the snowflakes look like they're gonna be in petal pink. So another cute one there. We've got some little snowmen. 
and then some, uh, what's that called, plaid. And those look like they're, I mean, we, we can make these type of plaids um, just using blends or markers as well. So that's a fun technique to do. We've got these cute little penguins. So that would be cute just to cut a piece of that and make a nice greeting and a simple card, or you can cut them out. And then we've got here, we've got some um, lovely little Christmas trees. Those look like they're in the pumpkin pie color. And then if this doesn't scream Christmas, I don't know what does. Super cute, super adorable with the little berries and then look at this back side as well again um this will be great to use as a background but you could also make backgrounds you um with your blends or markers and then this is the final sheet and of course you get two sheets of each and this one has a great little wintry scene i mean I don't know about you, but my grandmother used to have these little scenes um, it was some lights underneath some snow and there were little houses made of cardboard. So cute, I inherited it. I was just telling a friend about it the other day. There were some little animals and she had a an nativity and it was so cute. The little animal, the leg had broken off and um, if she, if a leg broke off, she took an old matchstick and would make a new leg. I still have the matchsticks um, and I would never get that fixed or replace it. Uh, this is the first time I'm seeing the back of this piece and they have some lovely little candy canes there. So, pretty. Another thing is this would go really well with the um, house here. So even though welcome home, you just cut out a piece there and then have the welcome home. So cute. So there we go. If you want to see me use any of this, make sure that you are subscribed. And if you want to hit that notification, that little bell, it'll tell you when I go live. It'll tell you when I put a new video up and so you won't miss anything. So I hope you like this. Please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me and my channel, and I'm going to be doing lots of um, fall and Christmassy stuff as we head in to that season. All right, beauties, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye!